Okay, here we are in the dashboard of Referral Maker. And what you will see is um, a log on screen, obviously, and this is where you're taken first. So I'm not going to show you how to import um, contacts because I've already done that, but I will show you just the dashboard first and then how to add a contact. So up here at the top, you'll see your name. And when you click this, this is where you can go to view your profile and change anything that you need to do in your profile. This is also any kind of notifications. If there's a notification, it'll have an orange dot. And this is where you go to actually search for a contact. If you want to add an individual contact or an appointment or a to-do or a transaction in your business section, which we'll go over later, you click this little button. And then these little dots take you to all the Brian Buffini Buffini and Company um, exterior links like Buffini and Company, Brian, Brian's website, his show, your members area, um, training videos if you've taken Pathway to Mastery, and then your heritage profile if you've taken that, business analysis if you are involved in that. So everything's there. Over here on the left, you'll have all of these have drop downs. So your relationships um, are there various your marketing and all that reports which is kind of getting into the weeds a little bit so we're just going to focus on our relationships which is all right here so in order to add a relationship excuse me in order to add a relationship you would go to the plus sign relationship and you would check mark if it was a referral if it was a referral then this is going to happen where it's going to ask you who referred you that way it's going to link those two people if it's not a referral you'll just keep that and then you will do a test or you will do your, your contact. Let's say you're adding Amy Smith and her name there, her email. And let's say you put your phone number. Pretty easy. You have to expand it in order to add addresses. So you would click there and this is where you would add her street address. You can do country if it, you want, but I would rec recommend it unless you're unless they're outside of the United States. Then you're adding that you're going to save the changes there. And there's Amy Smith. So once you've added her, it will get into some more detailed ones. Like let's say she has a spouse and you want to connect the spouse. Let's say that you met her at a networking group where you happen to know quite a bit about her business. And you want to add maybe some, maybe some information here. It, it goes on and on and on for a while. Um, you can add quite a bit. Let's say you've got some interest in favorites or if there's some property preferences, this is really good when you first meet someone and they're talking about real estate and maybe, especially if it's maybe not going to be something that they are interested in for a while and all that. So we're going to save this. Now let's say you want to add Amy Smith to your mailing list. This is where you go into groups and marketing. And if you have created a group, for your email list or a mailing list, or let's say you're wanting to add them to a vendor list, we'll go through the groups, but this is where you would add that. So when you go to the profile overview, here's where we added her life insurance. She's a life insurance agent. She works for Northwest Mutual. You can add a photo if you want. It can get a little tedious to do that, but you can. And 
And if they have a website, if there's a birthday, that's over in personal and family. So let's, I love keeping up with people's birthdays. So let's say that there's a birthday. Let's say it's April 16th. We're going to save every time we make a change. Go back to the profile overview. There's the birthday has been added. This is a good place to keep track of people's children's names, if they have pets and so forth. Now, whenever you do any kind of activities with Amy, let's say you went to lunch or you made a phone call, that's all going to show up in her history. And any kind of appointments or to-dos, like look, because we added her birthday, it added as a to-do for me, which is perfect. And then if you want to type general notes, you can add general notes there and make sure you save any kind of interest, business and career, personal family. You can all add that on as well and it'll keep track. Now up here in the right corner, this is where you can rank them. So let's say that, you know, when you first meet someone, you haven't really gotten to establish what kind of client they are. Um, you know, so maybe they're a C client. Maybe you did go through the mayor campaign and they said, yeah, I'd, I'd refer you. Not only are they a B client at that point, then you've qualified them. You went through the mayor campaign and qualified them. Um, so that's, that's how you do that. Now with each particular contact, when you open a contact, you're going to have all these activities and we will go through how to do those activities later. So that's how you add a contact. Now Amy Smith is going to show up in my contacts and there's all kinds of information for her.